Hey guys, it's Josh and now you know it all. Coming to you today to talk about a subject that has been really talked about for years, uh, but to, yesterday it actually came out. Uh, there are some changes, new developments, and that is about Pete Rose and his lifetime ban. He has petitioned Major League Baseball to lift that ban uh, because of the result of the cheating scandal with the Astros. Uh, he feels that because the players were not punished, despite the fact that they were uh, guilty of cheating, that they um, did certain things, uh, but yet were not punished whatsoever, that he feels he should be uh, not, not necessarily proven innocent, but his ban should be lifted and allowed to go on to the uh, Hall of Fame ballot and be allowed to be a part of baseball once again. And I wanted to take a few minutes to really break down and, and talk about my thoughts on the situation. Uh, talk about how things are similar, but also very different uh, between the two situations. So, um, right off the bat, you know, my dad is a huge Pete Rose fan. He actually was born in Dayton, Ohio, was a huge Cincinnati Reds fan. It's been his team. Uh, Pete Rose is one of his favorite players of all time. It's just been a guy that, you know, my dad grew up watching. And so, uh, you know, from that standpoint, I understand where, why a lot of fans want Pete Rose to to have that ban lifted, to be able to go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, he is the all-time hit leader. Uh, he is clearly a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's there's not even a question about that. He is a Hall of Famer uh, for his play on the field. But the question is whether or not his ban should be lifted. And, and, and yes, I, I know the players for the Astros did not get punished, uh, despite the fact that they clearly cheated. Um, they, they didn't get punished one bit. And I understand that, but I see a, a difference between cheating to try and get an advantage to win a game and betting on a game as a manager. Uh, betting as a on, a on the game as a manager is, I, I don't know, it, to me it, it's worse than cheating uh, because it's really simple for you to make moves to help or hurt your team so that way you're able to win the bet. I mean, that's that simple. And I know that um, a lot of people come out and say, well, he never bet, it, bet on his team to lose. And I understand that. I know there's he said he hasn't done that. But I'll be honest, I have to think at some point he did. If you know your team has a starter that isn't as strong as the other team's starter or is up against a, a matchup that isn't, you know, the best, a guy who is addicted to gambling, which I believe Pete Rose was and probably still is, um, it's hard for you to turn down that opportunity to make some money and to win a bet. So, yes, I know that there's a lot of accounts saying that he hasn't, he never bet on baseball for his team to lose. But I, I, I still, it's in the back of my head and it's something that I question. So that part of it, it's different. It is different than the cheating scandal with the, the Astros. Now, if you take away the Astros, take away that area, and you just ask me straight up, do you think the ban uh, for life should should continue or do I think it should be lifted? And it's tough. It's it's not a black or white answer um, as as much as many people want it to be. It's not simply a yes or no. There's, there's a lot to it. And I think what's going to happen is that it will not be lifted. I think that he ends up uh, not being put into the Hall of Fame until after he's dead. I, that's... That's my personal thoughts on what I think is going to happen. Um, and I understand that and I would uh, support that. But at the same time, I also, pardon me, want to see him in the Hall of Fame, want to see him enshrined while he's still alive. It, it's still a, a great honor and something that um, I, I wish every Hall of Famer would get the chance to experience in their lifetime. Uh, we know there are a number of Hall of Famers who died before they were um, actually enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and that, that's it's sad um, that they didn't get a chance to experience that. So that part of me would like to see Pete Rose, uh, that ban lifted or somehow adjusted so that way he could be voted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, but it's tough. I, I, I'm on the fence in a lot of ways. I think, I think if you had to, if I had to say my thoughts and opinions, I would say no, I, I don't want the ban to be lifted. I think that Pete Rose uh, should be banned for life and that he 
uh, should not be in the Hall of Fame at this point. And, you know, that's what I'm saying. If it, if it happens the other way, I'm not going to be mad either. Uh, I'd understand that and be okay with it. I'd move forward and be, as a baseball fan, be excited to have him in the Hall of Fame. But it's tough for me. I, I, just, I just don't see it as the same. I see it as something different. But I do understand where he comes from. If you're banned for life for doing one thing and you see other players who aren't getting you know, punished for any reason, uh, I'd be a little mad too. But I, I, I would say I don't know that Pete Rose being back in baseball – is best for the game of baseball. I, I just don't think so. As great as he was as a player, um, at all his his stats and his records, I don't know that Pete Rose being back involved in baseball is the best thing for the game of baseball. I just don't know that. I, I, in fact, I would say I, I don't think it is. I don't think that him being involved is something that uh, would benefit the game. And I think as a commissioner, even though I don't have a lot of respect for the commissioner and some of the things he's done lately, uh, th- this is a tough one for him. He has to he has to think about the game as a whole, which he doesn't do very often, but he has to think about that and the impact it would have. So in the end, um, my thought is the lifetime ban stands until P. Rose passes away, and then it's lifted, and then he's enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Um, but that's that's my thought. That's my opinion. I know a lot of people disagree with me. Uh, I know a lot of people agree with me. And it's one of those things where it's, it's, a, it's a tough topic because it's not black and white, like I said earlier. So, guys, you know, down in the comments, leave me your thoughts. Do you think Pete Rose should be, uh, the ban should be lifted so he can return to baseball and be a part of the Hall of Fame? Or do you think that, yeah, it should, it should stay? It should stay. He should not be a part of the Hall of Fame. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts below. I, I want to know because... Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm leaning in one direction, but I can understand the other side and even be okay with it if that's the way it goes. Um, But in the end, that's just my thoughts. So guys, once again, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to catch on all of our new videos when they come out. And guys, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you later.